Gentlemen of Japan, play trombone or jazz guitar. Come on, join in our own big band. Our dancing is so adept, we're swinging with every step. We're always so cool and hip. Come on, open up our feet. Let's get down. Do 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 Understand these things. It is simply called etiquette. We're living our life in song. We keep it up all day long. We want you to sing along. We do. We do not need a better. We want you to sing, sing along.
Do you know I can find a girl named Yum Yum? She's the lord of a tailor named Coco. Why? Who wants to know? And who are you? Yeah. Who are you? Who am I? Yeah. Hi, man! I'll tell you. I saw that. Uh, I saw it. A thing of shreds and patches Of ballad songs and snatches And dreamy lullaby My catalog is long Through every passion ranging And to your humors changing I tune my supple song to my supple song. If you try it, love, and always fail, yeah, yeah. I'll sigh with you. Oh, listen to me, baby, oh, baby. Does your heart sing out a lonely wail? Yes, 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 yes. I'll do so too. Oh, yeah. 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 Sentiment is wanted. A patriotic ballad's cut and dry. Yes, sir. For where our country's banner may be planted, all other local banners are defined. Our warriors in marching ranks assemble. Never quail or they conceal it if they do, 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 do. And I should not be surprised if nations tremble. Would you hold my horn, please? Please, oh, take it, Darren. Take, take it, just take it, Darren. Please. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Now, listen, what exactly is your business with our yum yum? Yeah, go ahead and tell us about it, man. Mm -hmm. Well, a year ago, I was a member of the Titty Poo Big Band. <laughs> oh, well, not playing trumpet, I hope. <laughs> no, I took the cap around for contributions. When I saw yum yum, oh, it was love at first sight, but hopeless because she was engaged to her old guardian, Coco. But a month ago, I learned that Coco had been condemned to death for flirting, so I rushed back to marry my yum yum. Oh, yes, 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 Coco was condemned, but see, at the last minute, I rushed in and I said, we saved him. And appointed him Lord High Executioner of Titipu. Yeah, see, that's right. See, when our great Mikado made flirting punishable by death, we all knew we were in trouble. Okay, so, death, so. The night before he was to be beheaded, we decided to free him and make him Lord High Executioner! But why would you do that? Well, now, if any of us are caught flirting, he'll have to execute himself before us! But Lord High Executioner is the highest rank in Titty Poo! It is! Hi, 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 What's up? Our Mikado sees no difference between the judge who condemns a gangster to die or the headsman who lops off his head. So now every judge is his own executioner. Thanks. And you are? I 
and Pooh Pop, the coolest cat in all titty poop. When all the state officers resigned at once because they refused to work for the uncool Coco, I was the only one cool enough to take over all the jobs. Yes, and he took over all the salaries, too. Okay, you know. So Coco is Lord High Executioner? He is. And you are Lord High everything else. It's a tough job, but see, somebody's got to do it. Well, you know what I'm talking about, yeah. Oh, uh, also sell state secrets at a very low figure. So if you want to know some more info about Yum Yum, that'll come under the heading of a state secret. Oh, uh, will this do? For now. Come here, boy. Let me lay some knowledge on ya. Now listen, kid, the news ain't great Cause in the end you come too late Today's the date we celebrate The wedding of our executioner This very day from school, yum, yum What went away and homeward gone With the beat of a drum and a rum tum tum To wear our Lord high Executioner And the drums will crash And the trumpets break And they cut a dash On their wedding day To toddle away As all compare With the Lord High Executioner And the drums will crash And the trumpets break And they cut a dash On their wedding day To toddle away They bow their back extremely soon. Yes, sir. In front of fact, this afternoon. This afternoon? Her honeymoon with that buffoon. Star trapped her. She's a professional. Wait a minute. Yum Yum's getting married? And the drums will crash and the trumpets break. And they cut a dash on their wedding day. She tied away as all concur. Tell me that I've been on the road for over a month just to learn that Yum Yum, the girl I love, is going to marry Coco? That's right, baby. Oh. Dignified and potent officer Whose functions are particularly vital Defend Defend To the Lord High Executioner Taken from the county jail by a set of curious chances, liberated then on bail, on my own recognizances, lifted up so all regale, 
give and weekly allowances <laughs> to a high tech you can scale. Save by long and weary dancing. Surely never had a male under such like circumstances. So adventurous a tale which might rank with the best romances. Taken from the county jail. Taken from the county jail. By a set of curious chances. Gentlemen, gentlemen, I am very touched by this reception. Ow! Ow! Oh, oh sorry. I'm fine. Uh, 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 if I should be called upon to act professionally, I think there will be no difficulty in finding persons whose loss will be a distinct gain to society at large. <laughs> If someday it should happen that a victim must be found, I've got a little list, I've got a little list of society offenders who might well be underground, who never would be missed, who never would be missed. There's the devotees of movie stars who write for autographs, all people who have flabby hands and irritating laughs. Name, please. All children who play instruments but always play them flat. I hate that. All people who, when shaking hands, shake hands with you like that. See what I mean? It hurts, doesn't it? It's terrible. They grab on, they hold on, they squeeze, they won't let go. It's unforgivable. And Billy Sunday, Reverend Ike, and all revivalists. They'll none of them be missed. They'll none of them be missed. He's got them on the list. He's got them on the list. And they'll none of them be missed. They'll none of them be missed. There's the ragtime serenader and the others of his race. The piano organist. <laughs> I've got them on the list. <laughs> All people who eat peppermint <laughs> and puff it in your face. They never would be missed. They never would be missed. The woman on the party line is always on the phone. The recluse who like Garbo simply wants to be alone. The Bobby Sox fanatics who, when Frank Sinatra's heard, will faint and shriek and gurgle so you cannot hear a word. And that singular absurdity, the swing time pianist, you know what? Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. I'll see you. Okay. I don't think he'll be missed. I'm sure he won't be missed. He's got him on the list. He's got him on the list. I can't. And I don't think he'll be missed. I'm, I'm sure, sure he'll him. not be missed. There's the liberal excess of Franklin Delano and wife. That avid New Dealist, I've got her on the list. All funny fellows, comic men, and clowns of private life. They never would be missed. They never would <clears throat> be missed. Uh, 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 
Americans when traveling who are such adventurous folk, they only order hamburgers and wash them down with Coke. <laughs> Pardonnez-moi. I have more empty spaces left, but what is one to do? The task of filling up the list I'd rather leave to you. But it really doesn't matter whom you put upon the list. For well, they'll none of them be missed. They'll none of them be missed. You may put them on the list. You, you may. may put them on the list. Yeah, and then none of them be missed. None of them. None of them be missed. The list. Now take this list and put it in a safe place. Okay. <laughs> we'll take a little list, we'll hide a little less, and it never will be missed. No, 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 no. Oh. Pooba. Uh, it seems the festivities in connection with my marriage must last a week. Now, I, I really want to put on the dog, so tell me what I should spend. Well, uh, who are you speaking to? Oh. First Lord of the Treasury, Lord Chamberlain, Attorney General, Chancellor of the Exchequer, or Private Secretary? Suppose we say Private Secretary. Well, as your Private Secretary, I would say, as long as the city's gonna be picking up the tab, yeah. don't stint yourself, do it well. Exactly, that is your advice. As your Private Secretary. But you understand this, Chancellor of the Exchequer, I'm bound to see that all laws are absorbed. Oh, I see, but you said just now don't stint yourself. As your private secretary. And then you said that all laws must be absorbed. As chancellor of the exchequer. I see. Well, come over here where the chancellor can't hear us. <laughs> now then, as my lawyer, how do you advise me? Well, as your lawyer, I would say. Yeah. As long as you don't implicate me, uh, chance it. Thank you, I will. If it were not for the fact that as First Lord or Chief Justice, I am bound to see that no law is violated. I see. Well, come over here where the Chief Justice can't hear us. Now then, as uh, First Lord of the Treasury... As First Lord of the Treasury, I could propose a special vote that could cover all expenses. But as leader of the opposition, it'd be my duty to fight it tooth and nail. But as paymaster general, I couldn't fix the accounts for this law. Ah! Oh, no, I should never discover the fraud. But then as Archbishop of Titipu, it'd be my duty to denounce my dishonesty and give myself over to my own custody as chief of police. Click, click. That's extremely awkward. You're telling me. But I don't want you to think that all these distinguished people couldn't be satisfied by the insult of a very considerable bride. Yes, well, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Hello. 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 My bride and her sisters are coming. You know, Poopa, any little compliment on your part or abject, groveling, characteristic Japanese attitude would be considered a big favor. No money, no grovel. Oh, I ain't that cold. One little man. Shabba to be bop. Three little maids from school. Three little maids from school. Three little maids who all unwary come from a lady's seminary. Three from the genius to the Larry. Who do you know in Nagasaki? Three little maids from school. Three little maids from school. Three little maids, three little maids. Three little maids, three little maids. One little maid is a prize. Yum. Two little maids in attendance go. Three little maids is the total sum. Three little maids from school. Well, from three little maids, take one away. Two little maids remain at the Won't have to wait very long, they say. Three little maids from school. Three little maids from school. Three little maids from school are we. But our school girl well can be. Built to the rim with girlish leaves. Oh, the ladies, 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 the
my bride to be. Mm. Ooh, you're not going to kiss me in front of these people, are you? Well, that was the idea. Oh, yeah. Well, well it, it, it seems odd, doesn't it? Honey, it is odd. I wouldn't do it. No, I expect it's all right. You've got to start somewhere. Yeah, you got to start somewhere. Well, I know nothing about these things, but I've no objection if it's usual. Oh, it's quite usual, I think. Eh, Lord Chamberlain? Well, uh, I have seen it done. Yeah, you've seen it done. <laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> Mm. Ooh, thank goodness that's over with. <laughs> yum yum. You? Uh, will, will you introduce me? Oh, well, yeah, one oh, at a time, oh, girls, please. Uh, yum yum. No, this is the gentleman who used to play so beautifully on the second trombone. Sir. Sir. I have the great misfortune to love your ward, Yum Yum. Oh, I know you're angry. Angry? Not a bit, my boy. <laughs> I love her myself. <laughs> Charming little girl, isn't she? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretty eyes, beautiful hair. Very glad to have my opinion backed up by such a good, strong judge of brides-to-be. <laughs> Thank you very much. Goodbye. Come along, girls. Come on. Yum, yum. Oh, oh, really oh, oh, no whining. Oh, 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 oh. Psst. Yum, yum. At last we're alone. Oh. oh. I came because I heard your guardian was beheaded. But I find that you're going to marry him this afternoon. Yes. But you don't love him. No. Oh, yes! <laughs> but why don't you just turn him down? Oh, what good would that do? He's my guardian. He's not about to let me marry you. Oh, but I'd wait till you're of age. Besides, a wandering minstrel who plays on brass instruments outside of tea houses is hardly a suitable husband for the ward of the Lord High Executioner. But you don't understand. That's not what... <sighs> Shall I tell her? You better, or we're gonna be here all night. What if it should prove that after all I am no musician? Woohoo there! I knew it the moment I heard you play! What if it should prove that I'm no other than... than the son of His Majesty the Mikado? The son of the Mikado? But why is your highness disguised? I, I have noticed to, that I, your highness is done, I and that your highness to, promised never to do it again. Years ago, I made a mistake. The mistake of captivating Katisha, an older woman in my dad's court. She misconstrued plain courtesy into an expression of affection and claimed me in marriage under my father's flirting law. My father, the J. Edgar Hoover of Japan, <laughs> ordered me to marry her within a week or die. Oh. So that night I ran away, disguised as a second trombone, and joined the big band in which... in which you found me. Oh! Oh, I think your highness had better not come too near. Oh! oh. The laws against flirting are very severe. Oh! But we're alone and nobody can see us. Well, still, that doesn't make it right. We must obey the law. Damn the law! If it weren't for the law, how happy we would be. Happy, yes. If it weren't for the law, we should be standing side by side, like this. Instead of being obliged to stand a half mile off, like that. We should be gazing into each other's eyes, like this. Oh, breathing sighs of unutterable love. Oh. oh! Like that. We should have our arms around each other. Like this! Oh, yes! Oh, if it wasn't for the law! If it wasn't for the law! As it is, we couldn't do anything of the kind. Not for all the tea in Japan. Being engaged to Coco, you know? Being engaged to Coco. Were you not too Coco plighted, I would say in tender tone, loved one, let us be united.
united, let us be each other's own. I'd forget all rank and station. Worldly sneers are not to us. And to mark my admiration, I would kiss you fondly thus. to Coco, to embrace you is a no-go, if someone sees us it's no joko, but I touch you and go loco, 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 loco. So in spite of all temptation, such a dream I won't discuss, and on no consideration. Would I kiss you fondly thus? Would I kiss you fondly thus? Let me make it clear to you, this is what I'll never do. This or this, this or this, or this, this. This is what I'll never, 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 never do. This on this, this on this, this, this is what I'll never do. He'll never do. He'll never do. He'll never do. <laughs> to think my future happiness is, is wrapped up in that, that little bundle. Really? It hardly seems worthwhile. She's such a small... Ah, oh, now then, what is it? Can't you see I'm soliloquizing? I have a letter. A letter from who? From His Majesty, the Mikado. The Mikado! Oh! What in the world can he have to say to me? I don't know, I mean... It's in Japanese! <laughs> Japanese! Oh, we are Japanese! Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know, yeah, I knew that too. I gotta say. <laughs> One minute, huh? <laughs> ah, here it is. I thought it would come sooner or later. It seems the Mikado is, is struck by the fact that, that no executions have taken place in Titty Poo for a year and decrees that, ah, that unless someone is, is beheaded within a month, that the job of Lord High Executioner will, will be abolished and the city reduced to the rank of village. That will ruin us all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I, I'll just have to behead somebody at once, that's all. That's all. That's all. The only question is, who? 
Well, uh, it seems unkind to say so, but since you're already under the sentence of death for flirting, everything seems to point to you. To me? What are you talking about? I can't execute myself. Why not? Why not? Because in the first place, um, self-decapitation is an extremely difficult, not to mention dangerous thing to attempt. And uh, in the second, it's suicide. And suicide is a crime punishable by death. Oh, that's just a detail. Besides, I don't see how a man can cut off his own head. Well, a man might try. Yes, even cutting off half is something. <laughs> if you take it as a desire to obey the imperial will. No, no. As official headsman, my reputation is at stake. I can't agree to a beheading unless it's done perfectly. I'm an artist. <clears throat> uh, such a professional conscientiousness is highly admirable. But it places us in an awkward position. The awkwardness of your position is grace itself compared to that of a man trying to cut off his own head. Well, then I am afraid that unless you find a substitute, we... Substitute! Substitute! Certainly nothing easier, Poobah. I appoint you, Lord High. Substitute. <gasps> I second it. But oh, such an apartment would realize my fondest dreams. But no, at any sacrifice, I must decline. I am so proud if I allowed my family pride to be my guide. I volunteered to quit this spin instead of you in a minute or two. My family pride must be denied and set aside and mortified and mortified. My brain a tea with endless schemes, both good and new, for titty-poo, for titty-poo. But if I flit the benefit that I diffuse, the town would lose. Now every man to aid his clan must plan, no! plan as best he can. I heard one day a gentleman say that criminals who are cut in two can hardly feel a fatal steel, and so are slain and slain without much pain. If this is true, then jolly for you, your courage screw, I bid you adieu. <laughs> I am so proud my brain if is I allow my family to be my God. But if I fail, I'm going to be the same as the town of the moon. Now every man to aid his plan is my plan as best he can. Now every man to aid his plan is my plan as best he can. Now every man to aid his plan is my plan as best he can. And so, although I'm ready to go, yet recollect for disrespected, I neglect to thus affect the same direct. I can't accept. And so, although I wish to go, to greatly pine to take the line of red, the line of a hero pine with the side. I must decline and go and show but friend and foe how much you dare. I'm quite aware it's your affair, yet I declare I take your share, but I don't much care. I must I take your share, but I don't much care. I must take your share, but I don't much care. 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 Silence in a dull dark dock In a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock Awaiting the sensation of a short sharp shock From a jiffy jiffy chopper on a big black block To sit in silence, silence in a dull dark dock In a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock Awaiting the sensation of a short sharp shock From a jiffy jiffy chopper on a big black block To sit in silence, silence in a dull dark dock In a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock Go away. Leave me alone. I'll think of something! All right. You better think of something. And it better be good! <laughs> this 
this stinks. I allow myself to be saved simply to benefit Titty Poo, and now I'm required to die within a month. Is this public gratitude? Is this go away? Why am I never allowed to soliloquize? Go on, don't mind me. Now, is that, what are you gonna do with that rope? I'm about to terminate an unendurable existence. Terminate your existence, what for? Because you're gonna marry the girl I love. No! Oh, 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 no, 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 pardon me, I can't allow that. If you attempt anything of the kind, I shall order your instant arrest. If you attempt to raise an alarm, I'll instantly perform the act with this blade. Oh, 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 no, 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 yes, no, 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 yes, no, 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 Don't do that! This is terrible! Don't you know that- oh, Don't you know that in taking your own life you're committing a crime which is- which- which- Oh? Substitute. What's the matter? Are you absolutely certain that you're resolved to die? Absolutely. Will nothing change your mind? Nothing. My mind is made up. Oh, well then, if you really mean what you say, and- And you're absolutely certain that you're resolved to die. Absolutely. And, and nothing will change your mind. Nothing. Then, then don't spoil yourself by, by committing suicide. But, 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 but be beheaded handsomely at the hands of the public executioner. This is what we'll do. What? You let me marry Yum Yum tomorrow, and in a month you can behead me. Oh, no, wait a minute. I draw the line at Yum Yum. Very well, then. If you can draw the line, so can I! Oh, oh, oh! No, 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 wait a minute! Wait a minute, wait a minute! Just listen to reason, just for a second! You don't want to do this! You're going off all half cocked and everything you want! Yes! No! Yes! No! Yes! No! God, jeez! Listen for a second, be reasonable! Huh? How am I supposed to agree to your marrying Yum Yum if I'm going to marry her myself? My good friend, she'll be a widow in a month and you can marry her then. Yes, I see that, but my position during the next month will be most unpleasant. Not half as unpleasant as my position at the end of it. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. Well, it's only putting off my wedding for a month. All right. Yeah! God, jeez. Boy, oh boy. How do you do... But uh, uh, you won't prejudice her against me, will you? You see, I've educated her to be my wife. She's been taught to regard me as a wise and good man. Trust me, she'll never learn the truth from me. <laughs> we demand to know what you mean to do about the McConnell's letter. Well, congratulate me, I found a volunteer. <laughs> We're all saved. The Japanese of Wimbledon, the Jane your swell. It's Nanky Poo! Hail Nanky Poo! He's agreed to give up his life if I give up Yum Yum. What? Only for a month, mind you. Oh, is this true? Are we to be married? <laughs> the itty bitty thundercloud has passed away. And Mr. Sun has gone to shine a dawn eating day. And though the dark at night is falling much too soon. It's gonna be a month of afternoon. And happiness and sing the year. No, heebie jeebies, now that you are here. Forget that in a month you'll have to change your tune. At least we'll have a happy honeymoon. Let the sun and our joy dance. We're laughing, so we're having so many dance. With joy, a shout, have reading cheer. In all you rate, every career. With joy, a shout, with joy, a shout, every
in a month, you've got to die if Coco tells us to. I do. Twer empty compliment to cry. Long life to Nagy Poo. But as one month you have to leave as fellow citizen. This toast with three times three will give long life, long life to you. Long life to you. Long life to you. to claim my lover, Nanky Poo. He shows the lights that never cloy. Come back, old fool. Come back to joy. <laughs> Who is that? It's Katasha, the older woman I was telling you about. No, you shall not go. These arms shall thus enfold you. Oh. I am your fate, oh blind won't see that you're my mate. Come rash these leaves, hearts to mold. Come base these hips that you must hold. Thy heart unbind, oh fool, you're blind. Give me my place, oh rash. Oh, base, the heart of falling, give me my face. Oh, if you're blind, go oh, rush your base. Give me my place. <laughs> give me my place. <laughs> You cannot turn us. No. You cannot turn us. No. You cannot turn us. No. You cannot turn us. No.
gladness It's dead and it's gone In silent sadness I leave alone And the hope that I'd cherish all life is lies and all has perished all has perished save love and He's no musician, whatever kind of jive has been beating you. I got an idea. What? Watch he this. is the only son to your mother. Sushi Nagasaki. Sushi Nagasaki. Oh, to Benny Hala. Oh, to Benny Hala. Saki Teriyaki. Saki Teriyaki. Fuji Yoka Fuji. Wicky Wacky Wookie. Wicky Wacky Wookie. Oh, yeah. But you will see, you have not got the best of me. You pissed me off, and now you pay for what you think, Sir Wang Day. We'll hear no more, you horny owl. Our joy will soar despite your scowl. The echoes of our festivals shall bring joy up in all their eyes. Oh, 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 oh,
Yet, but shut your fly trap. Gas bag. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get you back. <laughs>
Yes, I am beautiful. Sometimes I wonder, in my artless Japanese way, why I am more attractive than anyone else in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> the sun whose rays are all ablaze with everlasting glory does not deny his majesty but stands on fire before me he won't be coy a blushing boy complete with childish whining but fierce and bold and fiery gold, he glorifies his shining. I mean to rule the earth as he the sky. We The sun and I Behold his flame, you icy dame The moon celestial highness There's not a trace upon her face Of diffidence or shyness She burrows like that through the night Mankind may all acclaim Truth to tell, she lights up well. So I, for one, don't blame her. Oh, I pray, make no mistake, we are not shy. We're very wide awake. The moon and I. Shy. We're very wide awake. The moon and I. to be married today to the man I love. Oh, I'm the very happiest girl in all Japan. Oh, it's too bad your happiness can't be complete. What do you mean? Well, it can't be denied that your husband is to be beheaded in a month. That, in a way, is a drawback. <laughs> it does seem to take the top off it, you know. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, well, I'll bet he finds it a drawback. Oh, well, not necessarily. I mean, it all depends, right? Oh, I think it's mean of you to talk about it. I mean, if my marital happiness is cut short, cut short in a month, can't you let me forget it? Oh. Yum, yum, and cheers. <laughs> Honey, it's your wedding day. They've been reminding me that in a month you're to be beheaded. Yep, we've been reminding her that you're to be beheaded. It's quite true, you know. Oh. A month beheaded. Oh. You, baby. Oh. Now, some bridegrooms might be depressed by this sort of thing. A month. What's a month? Time is purely arbitrary. Who says 24 hours make a day? Well, there is a popular impression to that effect. Well, well, we'll call each second a minute. Each minute an hour, each hour a day, and each day a year. 
At that rate, we've about 30 years of married happiness before us. And at that rate, this little chat of yours has already lasted four and a half hours. <laughs> Come on, girls, let's get the hell out of here before we get too old. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. That's the way to look at it. Come on, let's not be sad. There's a silver lining to every cloud. Let's... let's be perfectly happy. Yes, let's... let's... well, let's thoroughly enjoy ourselves. <laughs> oh, it's silly to cry. Oh, Ridiculous. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's easy. Oh. Brightly dawns our wedding day. Joyous are we give you greeting. Where or oh, where could you be fleeting? Fickle moment, pretty stay. Fickle moment, pretty stay. Ne'er a victory was so hollow. Pleasures come and sorrows follow. Evening bells will chime in long. Until the shadows fall over one and over all. Swing a merry madrigal. Swing a merry madrigal. Swing a merry madrigal. Don't mind me. <coughs> I'm afraid we're upsetting you. No, no, never mind. I've got to get used to it bit by bit. Now, begin by putting your arm around her waist. There, yeah. Let me get used to that first. <laughs> oh, oh, wouldn't you rather leave? It must pain you to see us together. No, no, no. I I've got to learn to take it like a man. <laughs> now put her head on your shoulder. Like that? That's it! <laughs> now kiss her. <laughs> Go on, kiss her. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> it's torture! <laughs> oh, oh, come on! But 
back up. After all, it's only for a month. No, no. It's no use deluding ourselves with false hopes. What, what do, you do you mean? Oh, my child, my poor child. How can I break it to you? My bride that was to have been. Was to have been? Yes, you can never be mine. What? I'm so glad. Glad? I've just learned that by the Mikado's law, when a married man is beheaded, his wife is buried alive. Buried, buried alive? alive? Buried alive. It's a really unpleasant death. But whom did you hear that from? Oh, from Poobah. He's my lawyer. Oh, but he may be mistaken. So I thought so. I consulted the Attorney General, the Lord Chief Justice, the Lord Chancellor. They're all of the same opinion. I never knew such agreement on a point of law in my life. Wait a minute. This law has never been enforced. Not yet. You see, flirting is the only crime punishable with beheading, and <laughs> married men never flirt. Of course they don't. <laughs> well, I suppose my dream of happiness is over. Uh, darling, I don't mean to appear selfish, and I love you with all my heart. I don't suppose I shall ever love anyone else half as much, but when I agreed to marry you, I had no idea I should have to be buried alive in a month. Me neither. It's the first I've heard of it. It makes a difference, doesn't it? Of course, of course it does. I mean, burial alive is such a stuffy death. An awful death. You see my difficulty, don't you? Yes, I see. If I insist on ca you carrying out your promise, I condemn you to a hideous death. But if I release you, you marry Coco at once. Oh! Here's a how de do de do dee If I marry you, de do dee When your time has come to perish, then the woman whom you cherish must be slaughtered too. Oh, here's a how de do de do dee Here's a how de do! Here's a pretty mess, oh yes, in a month or less, oh yes, I must die without a wedding. Let the bitter tears I'm shedding witness my distress. Oh, here's a pretty mess, oh yes, here's a pretty mess. Here's a state of things, to her life she clings. Matrimonial devotion doesn't seem to suit her notion, bury all it brings. Here's a state of things, here's a state of things. With a passion that's intense, I worship and adore But the laws of common sense we oughtn't to ignore If what I say is true, tis death to marry you Here's a pretty state of things, here's a pretty how to do Here's a pretty state of things, a pretty mess of how to do Here's a how to do, here's a how to do, here's a how to do. Boy, if what he says can I say, what I say is can I say, can I can I marry you My poor fellow, I'm really sorry for you. Thanks. I'm sure you are. Let's just get rid of these, huh? A painful reminder. I can't conceive of anything more distressing than to have one's marriage broken off at the last moment. But you wouldn't be disappointed of a wedding. You can come to mine. That's awfully kind of you. But that's impossible. Why? Today, I die. What do you mean? I can't live without Yum Yum. Today I perform the happy end. Oh, no, pardon me. I can't allow that. Why not? Why, hang it all. You're under contract to die by the hands of the public executioner in a month's time. Why, I shall have to be executed in your place. <laughs> oh, now then, what is it? The Mikado. He's approaching the city, and he'll be here in 10 minutes. 10 minutes? The Mikado. He's coming to find out whether his orders have been carried out. Now look here, this is getting serious. And a bargain is a bargain. And you really mustn't frustrate the ends of justice by committing suicide. Now as a gentleman and a man of honor, you are bound to die by my hands. Very well then. Behead me. What now? Certainly at once. Chap it all, chap it all! Uh, uh, my good sir, I don't go about prepared to execute a gentleman at a moment's notice. Why, I never even killed a fly. Still, as Lord High Executioner... As Lord High Executioner, I have a whole month to behead him. I'm not ready yet. I'm gonna take lessons. 
No, really, I, I mean to begin with a guinea pig and, and work my way up through the animal kingdom till I come to a second trombone. Oh! Sorry, you don't suppose I would have accepted it if I hadn't thought the duties were purely nominal. I can't kill you. I can't kill anything. <laughs> come on, now. No, I don't think so. We all have unpleasant duties at times. I know, but this is one duty that's really kind of... Unpleasant. After all, if I don't mind, why should you? Because I don't want to. I don't want to. I say it must be done. Oh, no. <laughs> must it? I'm not so sure about that. What do you mean? Well, why should I kill you when making an affidavit that says you've been executed will do just as well? Here are plenty of witnesses. The Lord Chief Justice, the Lord High Admiral, the Commander in Chief, the Secretary of State, and the Chief Commissioner of Police. Where are they? There they all are, and you'll all swear to it, won't you? Now, am I to understand that you want all of us high officers of state to lie like dogs? I'm talking cold, hard cash, Pooba. Just call me Fido. <laughs> But I tell you that life without Yum Yum is totally oh, out yum, of yum, the... Yum Yum! I've heard enough about Yum Yum! Find Yum Yum! Marry Yum Yum! Only go away and never come back! Oh, here she is. Yum Yum, are you particularly busy? Not particularly. Have you got five minutes to spare? Yes. Good! Then go with His Grace, the Archbishop of Titty Poo. He'll marry you two at once. Oh, but if I'm to be now married don't alive... Don't ask any I... more questions. Nanky Poo will explain it all later. But one moment. <laughs> No, not to find out whether we've obeyed his decree. If he finds you alive, I shall have the greatest difficulty in persuading him that I beheaded you. Now get ready, for here he comes! A more humane Mikado never did in Japan exist. To nobody second, I'm certainly reckoned a true philanthropist. And it is my most humane endeavor to make, to some extent, each evil liver a running river of a harmless merry man. It's your name, Song Shi. That's Japanese, baby. <laughs> Come on. My object oh sublime, I will achieve in time to let the punishment fit the crime, the punishment fit the crime, and to make each prisoner pent unwillingly represent source of innocent merriment of innocent merriment the smoking man who puffs like a chimney don't care where the ashes are tossed yeah. i'll tie the offender to oldmobile fenders make them inhale the exhaust how lost so bold to read the whodunit blab that the butler's a crook i'll give him a mystery by agatha christie with no final page to the book Oh, the musical snobs that think the Beethoven was the cat who invented the hop. I'll tie him down to an Ellington sound and I'm jitterbug jive till he drop. Oh, the gloomy gusses who see nothing but trouble and my turn and moan through the day. I'll manage the boring beneath my flooring, tap my troubles away.
I uh, seem to have gotten carried away. <laughs> Maestro, if you please. Other states and adore who ask all the questions, absent at every reply. Yeah. I'll nail this keister, sessions at Easter, not let him out till July. Yeah. And all you critics who pen and pan me, I got a weapon that'll sure make you squirm. Bo yeah. Jangles has got to be the vice of a coddle before I'll accept the third term. Gilbert and Sullivan should see me now. <laughs>
<laughs> Go put me down. <laughs> oh. Hey, let me take a look at some of these chicks you got here. Yeah, yes. I am honored to welcome your majesty. What, 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 what? Oh, uh, yeah, I've guessed the reason for your majesty's visit. The execution has taken place. Oh, you've had an execution, have you? Yes, the coroner just handed me the certificate. I am the coroner. He's the coroner. And this was the certificate of his death. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, it's in Japanese. We are Japanese. Tell me something I don't know. <laughs> You're all messing with the raw head here. <laughs> now then. At Titipu, in the presence of the Lord Chancellor, Lord Chief Justice, Attorney General, Secretary of uh, State. Uh, they were all there, Your Majesty. I, I counted them myself. Yes, that was a good house, brother. Oh, I wish I'd have been in time for the performance. Oh, <laughs> a tough fellow he was. Oh, yeah. oh, a man of enormous strength. Oh, oh his struggles were something. Uh, uh something. Fix. Fix. Thank you. It really was a, re a remarkable scene. You know, he squirmed oh, he? and struggled oh, yes, and begged for mercy. Oh, but, but I bared my big right arm and drew my snicker snee. Well, now, this is all very interesting, but I have come about a totally different matter. Really? What matter? Last year, my son, the heir to the throne of Japan, Ran away from our imperial court. No kidding. Was he dissatisfied with his position? Well, um, Not at all. Oh. On the contrary, I was going to marry him, yet he fled. Well, I'm surprised that he should have fled. One so lovely. <laughs> That's not true. You think I'm not beautiful because my face is plain? Oh, you got that. Well, beauty is not always in the face to be found. It is true, my face is plain. But I have a left shoulder blade that is a miracle of loveliness. Lay it on me, baby. People go for miles around just to see it. My right elbow holds the fascination that few can resist. And as far as my circulation, it is the largest in the world. <laughs> and yet, he fled. <laughs> Listen, you low shrimp. Cool it, cool it, cool it. He is masquerading in this town. He's disguised as a second trombone. A second trombone! He goes by the name of uh, Nanky Poo. Nanky Poo. Nanky Poo. There's not much family resemblance. <laughs> now then, can you tell me where he is at? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's quite easy. Uh, yeah, or no, rather, it's, it's it's sort of difficult. Yeah, you see, he's um, he's he's. Abroad? Abroad! He's gone abroad. Yes, he's gone. Abroad, his address. His address, yes. His, ad his address. His address, yes. It's coming to me. Mm. His address is... Mm. Titty Poo. He's in Titty Poo? No. Because... Uh, oh, no. Uh, we're in Titty Poo. Our head can't be in Titty Poo. Ergo. No, no. It's... Uh, he's... He's in... Um, he's... Well, it's either Boulder or Little Rock. I'm not sure. I can't... Uh, I... I, I can't be certain. Uh, it's an either or kind of a. Uh, somebody bail me out of this. Um, he's a. What? He's a. a he's a. It's a chop, 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 Looky here! Uh. His name! Uh. Nanky Poo! Whoa. Beheaded this morning! Oh. oh, where shall I find another? <laughs> oh, dear, dear. This is a problem. Yeah, yeah. My poor fellow, yeah. in your haste to carry out my wishes, you have beheaded the heir to 
the throne of Japan. <laughs> Who, come on now. Well, I had no idea. Of course you hadn't. I mean, how could you? I mean, it wasn't your fault. You see, if a man of exalted rank chooses to disguise himself as a second trombone, he's going to have to take the consequences. Oh. And I have no doubt he deserved all that he got. <laughs> it's not like we can tell who the gentleman really was. Oh, no, uh, not like it was written across his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. I, I seem to have forgotten the punishment for causing the death of the adipendent. What is it? I think it's something lingering oh, with no. boiling oil. Oh, oh yes! Yeah. Boiling oil! Oh. Well, I'm not sure about the boiling oil, but I know it's humorous oh. and lingering yeah. with either boiling oil oh. or melted lead. Melted oh. lead! But don't fret. Don't fret. I'm not a bit annoyed. Oh, well, if your majesty will accept our assurance, we knew nothing about it. Of course. I had no idea. I wasn't even there. <laughs> now, you know, that is a pathetic part of this. You see, this unfortunate fool of a law says, causing the death of the heir apparent. <gasps> There's not one word about a mistake. Oh, not <laughs> knowing. Oh. Maybe no idea. For not being there. <laughs> but there should be, of course. Yes! But there isn't. Oh. <laughs> That's the slapdash way in which these laws are written. But cheer up, cheer up! I'll have a change. Yes. Next year. Oh, <laughs> oh shot. I haven't had so much fun with my clothes on in a long time. <laughs> Now then, let's see about your execution, shall we? Your Majesty! What, what, what? Your Majesty, I believe lunch is being prepared. Would after lunch suit you? Uh, we can wait till then. Good, then we'll make it after lunch. <laughs> oh, I don't want any lunch. Oh. Oh, I do feel rather sorry for you all because this is an unjust world and virtue is only triumphant in musical comedies. This better be a good lunch. Oh, yes, Your Majesty. Yes, he is serving, serving, moving, eating, eating, serving, serving. You got seven courses to figure something out, and if not, come in your hoofiness. I hope you like tempura ham hocks. Well, this is a nice little mess you've gotten us into. Never mind right about that now. There's only one thing to be done. Nanky Poo will have to come to life again. Oh, Nanky Poo, oh. I've got good news for you. You've been reprieved. Oh, but it's too late for that. I'm a dead man, and I'm off for my honeymoon. But something terrible has just happened. It seems you're the son of the Mikado. Yeah, but that happened some time ago. But your father is here and with Katashaw. My father with Katashaw? Yes, she wants you. You can say that again. Yes, but he's already married. <laughs> well, what's that got to do with anything? Katashaw claims me in marriage, but I can't marry her because I'm already married. Therefore, she will insist on my execution. But if I'm executed, my wife has to be buried alive. You see our difficulty? Yes, I don't know what's to be done. There is one chance. What? If you could persuade Katasha to marry you, she'd have no further claim on me, and I could come back to life without any fear of being put to death. Good answer! Good answer! <laughs> 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 Deirdre. Deirdre. I? Mary Cattershaw? I, I really think it's the only way. But have you seen her? Oh, that's just her face. She's got a left shoulder blade of sheer perfection. <laughs> and I hear that her right heel is much admired by connoisseurs. My good sir, I can't pin my heart upon any lady's right heel. The bottom line is that while Cattershaw is single, I prefer to be a disembodied spirit. When she's married, I'll come miraculously back to life. Oh, oh here no. she comes now. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Come, yeah. come on, you can do it. Yeah. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. Hold your breath. Yeah. 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 Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, yeah. I just know we got a son of a woman sitting on the end of the son of a 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 son
Alone and yet alive, my soul is still my body's prisoner. Remove the peace that death alone can give. My doom to wait. My punishment to live, to live. Kattershaw, you who killed my love, I owe. Oh, Kattershaw, mercy, mercy. Did you show any mercy to him? See here, you, you killed my love. 
Way didn't really love me, but he would have loved me in time. I am an acquired taste. <laughs> Only the educated palate can appreciate me. And I was educating his palate just fine before he left. It takes years to train a man to love me, and you expect for me to go through the whole weary round again, and at the same time beg mercy for you, who robbed me of my prey. I, I mean, pupil. <laughs> oh, where shall I find another? <laughs> Here. Here. <laughs> Say what? Katashaw, for years I have loved you with a, with a white-hot passion that is slowly but surely consuming my very vitals. Ah, don't shrink from me. If there's a woman's mercy in your heart, have pity on a... Uh, on a, on a lovesick fool who, um, who, who thrills at your tiniest touch. Ah, 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 uh, under a poor mask of disgust, I have tried to hide a passion whose, whose inner fires are broiling the soul within me. But, but the fire will not be smothered, Katisha. I dare not hope for your love. But I will not live without it, darling. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. You, whose hands still reek of blood, dare talk to me about passion, a woman you so wrong. I do, I do, accept my love, or I die on the spot. Go ahead, sunshine. Nobody knows better than I do. Nobody's ever died of a broken heart. Oh, now, uh, that's not true. On a tree by a river, a little tom tit sang willow, tit, willow, tit, willow. And I said to him, Dicky Bird, why do you sit singing willow, tit, willow, tit, willow? <laughs> Is it weakness of intellect, birdie, I cried, or a rather tough worm in your little inside? <laughs> With a shake of his poor little head, he replied, Oh, willow, tit, willow, tit, willow. He slapped at his chest as he sat on that bough, singing willow, tit, willow, tit, willow. And a cold perspiration bespangled his brow, singing willow, tit, willow, tit, willow. <laughs> and he sobbed and he sighed, and a gurgle he gave. Then he plunged himself into the billowy And an echo arose from the suicide's grave. Oh, willow.
Isn't Willow, Tit Willow, Tit Willow? That was blighted affection that made him exclaim, Oh, Willow, Tit Willow, Tit Willow! <laughs> and if you remain callous and obdurate, I shall perish as he did, and you will now <laughs> Though I probably shall not exclaim as I die. <laughs> uh, we It's a sad tale, and quite true. I knew the bird well. He must have been very fond of her. His affection was something terrible. And if I refuse you, you'll do the same. At once! Oh, wait a minute, hold it. Ooh, ooh. Anything but that. I'm just a silly little goose. You are. You won't hate me if I'm a little teeny-weeny bit bloodthirsty, will you? I hate you, white Catasha. Is there not beauty even in bloodthirstiness? My idea. Exactly. There is beauty in the bellow of the blast. There is grandeur in the growling of the gale. There is eloquence outpouring when the lion is a roaring and the tiger is a lashing of his tail. Yes, I like to see the tiger on the Congo or the Niger and especially when lashing of his tail. The volcanoes of a spender that is grim mm. and the earthquakes only terrify the dogs. So but to him who's scientific, there is nothing more terrific than the falling of a flight of thunderbolts. Yes, in spite of all my meekness, if I have a little weakness, it's a passion for a flight of thunderbolts. If that is so, sing dairy, did down dairy, it's evidently very I'll taste someone. Oh, wait, we'll go and merrily get married, not heartily to tarry till it is done. Ah, ah, there is beauty in extreme old age. Do you fancy you are elderly enough? 
information. I'm requesting on the subject. Interesting. Is a maiden all the better when she's tough? Throughout the swag of minions, there's a general opinion that she'll last a good deal longer when she's tough. Mm. Are you old enough to marry, do you think? Who won't you wait until you're 80 in the shade? There's a fascination frantic in a ruin that's romantic. Do you think you are sufficiently decayed? To the matter that you mention, yes. I have given some attention. Uh. And I think I am sufficiently decayed. Oh. Yeah. a fierce lunch. You know that southern fried sushi. It's what's happening. <laughs> Have all the painful preparations been made? Your Majesty, all is prepared. Yeah. Good. Uh, then uh, produce the unfortunate gentleman and his two well-meaning but misguided accomplices. Right now? Now? Um, uh, right now, right now, okay, I know, uh, no, no, I think they're over here somewhere, right? Oh, no, yes, I can get messy, I know, they're right over here, if I could just, uh, you'll no, do. No, come on, just leave them, get off, get this, get this. Uh, oh, mercy, your majesty, mercy, mercy, mercy for Coco, and for Pupa, and even pretty thing. I beg your pardon, I don't think I quite caught that remark. Oh, that was mercy for Pupa. And for pity sing. You see, I just married this miserable creature. Oh, that didn't take him a lot of time. We were married before the registrar. Oh, I'm the registrar. He's the registrar. <laughs> oh, I see. But since you have slain the heir apparent, the heir apparent is not slain. Bless my soul, my son. Hiya, Pop. And your new daughter-in-law. Yeah, yes. You've deceived me again. Chop it off. Oh, cool, it, off. It, cool, oh. it, cool it, cool it, cool it, cool it. Yes, you deserve a little bit of an explanation. But Sugar, I think he's going to give it better hold than in pieces. Yeah, yeah. Uh, speak, Your Majesty. Um, it's like this. Um, it is true that I stated that I killed Nanky Poo. Yes, and in great detail. Oh, thanks. Um, it's like this. Uh, when Your Majesty says let the thing be done, it's as good as done. Yeah, practically it is done. Yeah, because Your Majesty's will is law. Uh, Your Majesty says kill a gentleman, and the gentleman is as good as dead. Yeah, practically, he is dead. And, and if he is dead, why not say so? I see. Nothing could be more satisfactory. Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, my God, man, I'm gonna thank you for the day. I'm still mad with you. Thundercloud has passed away And Mr. Sun has gone to shine a dawning day And all the dark and night has fallen much too soon For many, many years of afternoon
Yum 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 But we 